T'was the week before Christmas and all through the town. Last minute shoppers were running around. But things are too quiet at Carmichael's store. Where he's grumpy and greedy for he wanted more. So out on the lawn, we were selling our treats. To bring in more shoppers was part of his scheme. So come buy your treats so we can buy more. To give to the needy and spread Christmas joy. Welcome to Jesse's Trees. Everything's for sale. Remember, every penny we make will buy presents for our special friends. Foyer. I'm sure it will. What a cute puppy. That'd be $25, ma'am. Here's Betsy, darling. Keep the change. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. And Jacob, thank you and your family for donating all these trees for us to sell. You're welcome. Dead City's happy to help out. I mean, what a great cause to spread the Christmas message tonight and bless those among us who are less fortunate. We wouldn't think of taking any money. And Mr. Carmichael, thank you for donating the lot. I said you could use my lot to sell your trees. Then you can purchase all the gifts from me tonight right here from my store. No need to go anywhere else. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Carmichael, have you picked out a Christmas tree yet? No, no, I don't need it. Well, one. then pick one out, no charge. Why, yes, it's our way. It's our way. 
It's our way. Achoo! God bless you. Thank you, Jacob. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, it's our way of saying thank you for donating. The lot. Just my lot. And no thanks for the trees. Christmas trees remind me of family trees. What's the matter with that? Nothing. It's just me now, and it's perfect. A family of one. Achoo! Gesundheit. Um, thank you. I mean, don't get shame, Jacob. If you've got a cold, young lady, keep your distance. This is no time for me to get sick. Cha-ching, cha-ching, if you know what I mean. Oh, that reminds me. Dad said to tell you the whole family's coming tonight for the pageant. Every member of the Jesse household will be there. My mom's coming tonight. She missed my school program because she had to work. But she's coming tonight. She's going to be so surprised when she finds out I'm married. Mr. Carmichael, will you be coming to our pageant? Oh, please come. I'm married. No, no. I will be too busy at the selling in the store. You know, uh, uh, money doesn't grow on trees, kids. Achoo! That's so sad. Mr. Carmichael does want a Christmas tree. And he doesn't have a family? Who, Who doesn't, doesn't have a family? It's too bad he's not coming tonight. He wrote here how we could be in God's family. Yes, that's the good news of Christmas. Because of Jesus, we can all be a part of the family of God.
I scored! I saw two more trees. I saw two more trees. And I got us a large tip after the day. Saw me lift the tree up with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, with this money, we have enough to make three little girls very happy. I need an Elsa doll, an Elsa costume, and an Elsa backpack. I'll get those. Oh, Elsa's my favorite. Let it go, let it go. Enough with the song, girls. Let it go, please. Give me the money, let it go. Achoo! Dios le bendiga. Gracias, Jacob. Here's the money, Mr. Carmichael. This should be enough. Good thing I've got tons of hand sanitizer in the store. <laughs> I really hope we sell enough trees to get all those gifts. Oh, I forgot about the bake sale. How's that going, girls? It's going great. We've got gluten-free, fat-free, sugar-free, and peanut-free. Sounds flavor-free to me. Anyway, you won't believe this. About five minutes ago, a guy started something. He said it was called Pay It Forward. What's that mean? Well, he wanted to pay for the person's food behind him as a gift. And now, that's what everyone's doing. Anybody else want a sweet treat? Merchandise. I have made a fortune of that movie. Thank you, Mickey. Mr. Carmichael, you've been working so hard. Aren't you kind of hungry? How about a sweet, yummy tree? Is there anything else you want to buy for me? Yes. Achoo! D.O.T. Benedica. Gracias, Jacob. Put it in there. I scored some more. 
here's the casheroo. And Abigail, have you ever thought maybe you're allergic to evergreens? I'm beginning to think so. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, we've sold three more trees, so could you use a soccer ball, a football, and a baseball? Money, please. Mr. Carmichael, you look so hungry. Uh, don't you think you need a treat? No, I only eat gluten, sugar, and fat-free food. Perfect. You can have the fruit cake. How much for the fruit cake? Oh, it's already been paid for. What? It's a gift, Mr. Carmichael. Don't you get it? Somebody paid it forward. Well, that's just ludicrous, people. Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. Here you go. Here's your gluten, sugar, fat-free fruit cake. Enjoy, Mr. Carmichael. Are you sure you don't want to come tonight? She's marrying the major pageant. No, that manger scene keeps coming up every Christmas. I can't make any money out of it. I've got to get back to the store. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. I'm going back to the store, but to be politically correct, young lady, it's Happy Holidays. We don't want to offend our customers, or they won't buy from us. Offend the customers? But what about offending God? I guess he doesn't know Christmas is all about Jesus, and he's birthed in the manger. We've got to keep Christ in Christmas. After all, we're celebrating his birthday. guess for tonight. How much money have you made at the bake sale, Gwen? $32. $32. Oh, good. Now we can get the pink tricycle and the Legos. Luke, would you run in and tell Mr. Carmichael? Sure. 
Legos and a tricycle. A pink tricycle. Pink? I'm not kidding around a pink tricycle. At your service. What do you need? I noticed some this morning. Walk with wood. There you are, Jacob. I was wondering where you went. I've been tying trees to trunks. It's been a busy day. Hey, I have a question about Christmas trees. Why do we decorate them anyway? I can answer that one. My family's been growing evergreens for three generations. First of all, evergreens are the only tree that stays green all year long. It reminds me of the everlasting life we can have in Jesus. And the tree points up to heaven. That's why we put a star on top. And if you decorate a Jesse tree like my family does, you can hang ornaments on it that remind you of the events in the Bible from creation to Christ's birth. Oh, and one more thing, I almost forgot. We hang our Jesse tree upside down. What? what? Upside down? Why would you do that? Because it points down. Jesus came to earth for us. Like my dad always says, our Christmas gift from God doesn't come under a tree, but on a tree. Hey, I know a song about a Christmas tree. Huh, we know that one too. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, I can top that. Hit it, boys.
Is there a Carly here? That's me. I'm Carly. You know, the one who's going to play Mary. Your mother just called on my private cell phone. She did? She's coming to see me. Be well, she's going to be late. Something down at City Hall needed her attention. What? I don't take messages. Not again. I'm sure she'll make it. That's true. Do you have in? I was sweet, Abigail. Gracias, Jacob. Carly, if your mother doesn't make it, I'm sure Mr. Karma can always video it for you. What? I never agreed to do that. I will be too busy selling at the store. You know what I always say, kids. Money does grow on trees. Achoo! I don't think she's allergic to Evergreen. I think she's allergic to Mr. Evergreen. <laughs> Mr. Carmichael, can I ask you a question? You have on very unusual clothes. What is it called? Oh, you like? I've worn it for years. It's called Mula Amor. <laughs> That's true. Well, there it is, Mula Amor. That's true. Any more toys? Yes. We have just set up for the Ken, Ken and Barbie Deluxe Christmas Cottage and the Hot Wheels racing car, and we're done. Every child is getting a gift. Yay! Money, please. We need to finish wrapping up these presents. Addison, will you help me? Sure. Now the big seal's empty. <laughs> I can't wait to see the children's face when they get all those gifts. <laughs> it feels so good to give, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And when I think how God gave his only son, well, it makes me want to do all I can. In Jesus' name.
everybody. It's almost time for the pageant. And here comes our special friends. Mr. Carmichael here. That would be me. What's this all about? I'm here from City Hall and I'm shutting you down. What? Uh -huh. Sir, you cannot use this area out front without a proper permit and I'm afraid you do not have one. What? I've never heard of such a thing before. I'm sorry. Pack it up, kids. I have my orders. No! Wait! Mommy, you made it, but now there's no pageant. I would have been here sooner, but while I was at work today, I overheard they were going to shut you down, Mr. Carmichael. <coughs> they can't close me down the weekend before Christmas. I have my orders. Now wait a minute. Look, I've got your permit. I pulled some strings, and here, Mr. Carmichael, you're back in business. I'll be the judge of that. Hmm. Okay, well, it's clear. Okay, you are back in business. Yay! Yay! Mommy, you paid it forward for Mr. Carmichael. Why, yes, you did. Why would you do something like that for me? Because that's what Christmas is all about, loving one another like Jesus loved us. Mr. Carmichael, did I mention I was playing Mary in the pageant? You are? Yes, Mama. Oh, I gotta run. Wardrobe.
that was, how do you say? Very moving. I'd like to know more about this baby. Well, he's not a baby anymore. He's the savior of the world, and he's Lord of all. Yes, I'd like to know more. It's simple. God's only son, Jesus, paid for our sins with his very life. We just have to accept his free gift. And then you can get to be part of the family of God, too. Hey, Mr. Carmichael, you might want that Christmas tree after all. Dude, it's a free gift. Why, yes, I believe I would. And to show my appreciation to all of you, my new family, go pick out a free gift on me. Really? Yes! And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Oh, my God.